Hello people, welcome to my channel Physio Guide by Divya. Today I am going to teach about Spina Bifida. Spina Bifida, it is a congenital malformation. Congenital means at the it is seen from the birth time only. So that process, that conditions are called as a congenital. Why means the resulting from a intrinsic in the womb, intrinsically inside any abnormal developmental process. So uh, any abnormally we will see in the birth time that process is congenital malformation. Okay. Now what is this spina bifida means? It's a condition. It's a development defect. Development defect in the vertebra. Okay. Vertebra. Vertebral column result in the lack of fusion of the vertebral arches and so the vertebral canal vertebral canal is also not closed the so pathology we'll see the pathologies of two types spina bifida occulta spina bifida cystica now firstly we'll see spina bifida occulta see this is the spina bifida occulta and it's observed in only small percent of children this is a defect in the fusion of the laminal here there will be laminal arches like this will be you know so here defect in the fusion of laminal arches but this may not be evident seen in x-ray there is a dimple in the skin here so like this there will dimple in the skin for the vertebra sometimes there will be small tuff of hairs over the area the common feature of this type of lesion is abnormality of bladder control with either enuresis or urine retention will be seen in the problems will be seen in this condition next one spina bifida cystica see this is divided into meningocele milo meningocele see this is meningocele the vertebral arch is not fused and a sac containing meninges and cerebrospinal fluid is protruded outside see sac this is protruded outside now meningomyelo seal here this is no, most severe form of the uh, spina bifida there is a neurological damage also depending on the level of the lesion protruding uh, protruding sac contain a part of the spinal cord or cauda equina because the cerebrospinal fluid does not flow properly due to obstruction okay over 80% of children with this disorder have an associative hydrocephalus also with this disorder they will have that disorder also now what are the symptoms so we will see first clinical features lesions lesions over the vertebral defect on the back next to muscle paralysis weakness is seen by the level and extent of the lesion uh, upper motor neurons is spastic we will see next uh, lower motor neurons is flaccid type of paralysis is seen sensory impairment also depend on the extent and level of lesion bladder and uh, rectal uh, rectal and bladder inconvenience so the parents find it difficult to send the child to school okay uh, due to need for sanitary pads and hydrocephalus be may be associated problem also may be add mental retardation is not very common but may be present this one next management first one surgery surgery this is the main to be done to repair the spinal defect and prevent further damage next counseling and support for family is important next education uh, education uh, we will see the careful assessment of the child and we will send them to school next physiotherapy uh, to deal with uh, lack of movement or abnormal movement pattern and prevent deformities from occurring by correcting position treatment uh, teaching parents uh, passive movements uh, will be carried out by preventing contractures psychology to prevent depression anger and to uh, psychology advice must be given functional to do functional uh, activities in home orthosis for patient who need orthosis must be fixed uh, to walk gait for to move walk properly okay these are the main spinal bifida pathology clinical features management i hope you understood this topic thank you for watching this video